We want to simplify each expression using exponent properties, which are given here on the right for reference. We first have x to the eleventh divided by x to the fifth, so we're dividing in the bases of the same. So looking at our exponent properties, we'll be applying this exponent property here, where we'll be subtracting the exponents. Notice where m is equal to eleven and n is equal to five. So x to the eleventh divided by x to the fifth is equal to x raised to the power of eleven minus five, which equals x to the sixth. Looking at the next expression, notice how we can simplify the coefficients. Six divided by three is equal to two. And then we have x to the ninth divided by x to the second, which would be x to the power of nine minus two. So this simplifies to two x to the seventh. Next we have three fourths raised to the second power. To simplify this, I actually prefer to use this property here, where if we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. For three-fourths, notice the exponent on three would be one, and the exponent on four would also be one. So because we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. This would give us three raised to the power of one times two, or three squared, divided by four to the power of one times two, or four squared, which simplifies to nine-sixteenths. However, I also want to mention that we could apply this property here, where if we have a fraction raised to a power, we raise a numerator and denominator to that power. So showing this again, if we have three-fourths squared, we can just square the numerator and square the denominator, which simplifies to nine-sixteenths. But I prefer to apply the power to power property as I did here, because this reminds me, if the exponent inside the parentheses is not one, I would have to multiply the exponents. Now for this last example, we could multiply the exponents using the power to power property, but following the order of operations, we should simplify first inside the parentheses. And notice how inside the parentheses we're dividing and the bases are the same, so we subtract the exponents. So inside the parentheses we'd have x raised to the power of nine minus eight, all this is going to be raised to the sixth power, but nine minus eight is equal to one, so we have just x, or if we want x to the first, raised to the sixth. So we have powers to powers, so we multiply the exponents. One times six is six, so this simplifies to x to the sixth. We'll take a look at some more examples in the next video.